and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Teamer Hydra. Okay, so you may think that this is like a Hydra tribal deck, you know, that will have Gargos and Voracious Hydra and all that kind of stuff. But really, um, I've named this Teamer Hydra since War of the Spark because this is a Bio Essence Hydra deck. And so it's not actually a Hydra tribal, but it was Teamer Hydra because this deck is looking to maximize this Hydra mutant from War of the Spark. And it's a fun deck to play. It has lots of Planeswalkers, as you can see. Uh, and we, we haven't played it in a little bit and wanted to play it again because I haven't been playing enough uh, Teamer Hydra, especially with all these cool Planeswalkers. So what our deck's trying to do is, um, is of course, ramp. We got all these Land of War Elves, Paradise Druid. We have our three mana Planeswalkers that add mana with Domri and Kiora. And we're ramping into our big big cards here. All these... <laughs> all these uh, um, four, five, six, and maybe even more with hydro, Hydroid Crisis, all these kind of things. So um, I guess to talk about Bioessence Hydra a little bit, so, you know, it's a five mana, four, four Trampler. It gets a counter for every loyalty counter on Planeswalkers you control that are on the battlefield whenever you play the Bioessence Hydra, plus each Planeswalker, whenever Bioessence Hydra is on the battlefield, whenever you play a Planeswalker, it gets as many counters as uh, they have whenever they enter. So we, to be able to really take advantage of Bioessence Hydra, you need a lot of Planeswalkers. And so that, as you can see here, we have 11 total Planeswalkers uh, to go along with it. One of our Planeswalkers with Kiora works super well with Bioessence Hydra because it makes Bioessence Hydra draw a card, one, with that top ability, but also has just a, a lot of loyalty, you know, like seven counters for Bioessence Hydra. That is huge. And, you know, ramps into it. You can go straight from three mana with Kiora and then, you know, your next turn you minus, and then you play Bio Essence Hydra and make it like a 10-10. It's like, this this card's just going to be absolutely huge. You know, it says 4-4, but it's really, like, you know, a lot bigger than that. Um, so to to otherwise take advantage of Kiora, we need other creatures with power 4 or greater. That's where Spellbreaker, Phoenix, and, of course, Hyd Hydro Crisis come in. So we have some other creatures that are large like that. The Domri Chaos Bringer. The important thing about this is the plus one giving your creature riot, and riot means you can either have it enter with a one-one counter or haste, especially haste there. So we can have hasty bio essence hydras. Um, there's there's definitely been times playing this deck before where we've had, you know, like seventeen seventeen haste bio essence hydra. You know, <laughs> um, like let's say you have like uh, a Kiora at six loyalty and then your domri is at five and you, you you just played it you ticked it up to six the next turn you tick it up to seven to play bio essence hydra uh that's seven plus six that's 13 plus this four that's 17 you know like it's it's by just curving kiora into domri into bio essence hydra you're going to be attacking for 17 at trample uh, the turn you play it which is a lot plus you draw a card from kiora so that's pretty cool uh, Nissa and Chandra, very good Planeswalkers also. Got a couple of those. Vivian can either grow Bioessence Hydra, can go find not too much stuff in the sideboard. Our two two main things to get are, are Daredevil and Reclamation Sage if we need one of those. Not too much, but, you know, we're just using Vivian as more removal and more ways to make Hydra even bigger. All right, so let's, let's go and try this deck out. It's a sweet one. Gonna go to the traditional constructed queue for Teamer Hydra. So we're, we're doing two matches of ranked, two matches of, or two leagues of ranked, two leagues of, um, you know, the league here. Um, I guess the correct way to say that is two decks I'm playing in ranked and two decks I'm playing in a league. There we go. So, yeah, and Domri has a lot of card advantage as well. Yep, Domri, Domri's minus helps find our Hydroid Crisis and uh, um, Bio Essence Hydra. The minus isn't like perfect in this deck because we don't we don't have like tons and tons of creatures. So there's going to be a good amount of times that Domri's minus only grabs like one one creature. But whenever you have a creature that's as valuable as Hydroid Crisis that just draws you so many cards. Um, being able to dig another four cards looking for like a hydroid crisis 
especially at certain times whenever you're looking for more cards, is quite valuable. Yeah. <laughs> Jellyfish are always dangerous. That's true. Pirates. You want our style? You can't. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Choco just said, want to let you know that your Jun Dino and Kalia decks got me through Platinum pretty easily today. Want to say thanks for the fun decks. Awesome. Glad to hear it there, Choco. Good job. Way to get through Platinum. And yeah, glad you're enjoying the... Join all the decks on the channel. So good news is Domri does make my creatures uncounterable. So if they're like trying to counter stuff, not going to be able to. Hmm. The problem with with so Warkite Marauder though. All right, so we're gonna fight Warkite Marauder. Whenever it attacks, it does make your creature lose all the abilities until end of turn. Hey, what's up there, Roach? Thank you so much. Virginia native here coming from YouTube. And Choco the Bird got a tier one gifted sub as well. So thanks for that. We got a new donation deck. Awesome. All right, so there, Roach, what, what uh, day and what time slot would you like me to play your well, deck? You haven't seen the last of me. What do we have here? Simic Nexus. Okay, the ramp, Nexus ramp, okay. I played a, I played a, a deck just like this that was, but I played it with Bant there. I played a very similar deck to that. That was actually, I was actually planning on playing that deck on Sunday. Okay, so any, any day you, you'll see it through YouTube. Cool, cool. Karn's Bastion. Hmm. So just two cards. We're worried about counter magic. Domri is the worst card in my hand, so we'll throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, our hand was pretty stacked to have Domri be our worst, that's true. So these Warkite Marauders are going to be a little bit of a problem. Because I, I just can't block. You know, I, it's basically saying two creatures can't block right now. So we're attacking. Not so much of a problem, though, with having Chandra. Elemental. 
Nope. Elemental? Nope. Elemental. So this is mono blue pirates. Yeah, these are all pirates here. <laughs> Singleton Singleton's not hard. You just you just put like you know all your like you know commons or like really all your like rares and mythics together, put them in a deck. Um, you don't have to do anything too special with Singleton. It's not uh, that's the event this this weekend. You don't have to have anything too fancy. Like Singleton, there's a lot more variance in the games. You know, because you're only playing one of each card, not four. So it's not like you can really build around any specific card because there's only one of it in your deck. So you just kind of go like good stuff. You know, good stuff aggro, good stuff mid range, good stuff control. Um, but you know, it's there's there's definitely more variance in the games. Yeah, you can kind of go mono colored, you know, mono red, mono white, all that kind of stuff. Um, I th I think that I think PayPal is the only donation route, Choco. You can also, besides that, there's bits on Twitch. If you can you can purchase uh, bits on Twitch to be able to cheer, which is just like donating, but just through Twitch. Uh, let's get another Chandra in here, Vela Summers. Uh, I'm going to trim Nissa's. Or else I should should have probably been sideboarding a little faster. We'll get rid of one of those. I'll get rid of one Hydra since I cut a couple Planeswalkers. We'll probably be fine. So if you're playing green, play the enchantment that makes you draw a card for each creature with a unique name. Oh. That one that's from like Ravnica Allegiance, I think, right? That Simic one. I forgot about that card. I wasn't yeah, I wasn't thinking about that card at all. <laughs> Today's theme flashy Friday. Um Guardian Project. Okay, there you go. No, no, no real theme today. We got some of your favorite decks here, though. Yeah, we we got some some blasts from the past that some decks that I really like to play. Just gonna go ahead and pay two life. I'm probably gonna have to shock in with that thing anyway. Later, let's just do it so we can play the Sulphur Falls. Limited once he had double rhythm and guardian project rule deck. All right, so good card. What is that thing like four mana? What does this card do? Like for sure, like. Really? Oh, I misspelled Guardian. I... That's why. Stormfleet Aerialist. You 
<laughs> Five O Friday. It's tough to get five O's. I'm not sure if I'll just be able to uh, get five O's all the time. We have. I'll I'll do that trade. Keep Domri around. I'll do that trade. All right, everybody, get your hype boats ready. We have ten gifted subs from an anonymous gifter there. Thank you so much for that donation or gifted sub. We have Caesar, Cosmo Kramer, <laughs> this is my father, Anthrax Slave, Sparrow Knight, Knighton, Mommy, TCM Frostbite, Guest, uh, Os. Osphobobian, Selvin, and Ragabosh. Alright, so Domri's still around, which is good for the Hydra. So we've hit... Two sub goals now today towards our next 12 hour stream. Thank you very much for those gifted subs. Yeah, we could have could have just gone straight in for the attack. That was uh, before with the Gruel Spellbreaker. That's certainly an option. And then they probably don't block, but I honestly was just, I was just fine with them blocking, to be honest. Why is the Hydra a 3 3? That's kind of weird. Why would it turn into a 3 3? Any idea when Brawl will hit? Um, I'm assuming Brawl will hit whenever we have the next set out. That would be my assumption there. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be playing Brawl. I'll be making Brawl content as well. Yeah, but I, I don't know why the Bio Essence Hydra was a 3-3. After it lo lost the abilities... Oh, because it has the base power toughness 0 and 1. I forgot about that part. I, okay, that's why. I forgot about this part right here. The base power toughness is of 0 and 1. Yeah. Yep, y'all explained it. I forgot about the Marauder doing that part there for a second. This, this bio essence car hydra card so underrated it's an 11 10 creature it's so big Uh, good question. Let me check. I actually did not update one from last night. So we are we are currently at 11 of 20 sub goals for a, for a 12 hour stream. We hit one more at the end of the stream yesterday that I didn't add. So that would have been nine and then this is two more today. So I'll update that now. Oh, sorry opponent. Opponent was like, why aren't you doing anything? GG. So yeah, we're over over halfway to doing a 12-hour stream. I'm 
mess that up. It's not a colon. That's a colon, and it's what now? Well, hoping our Hydro Crisis doesn't get Thought Erasured away. That would be rude. Uh, just don't don't do the don't do the plus. I think you just type the word cheer and then space and then five hundred. There, Choco. There you go. Choco. Thank you very much. Choco with the bits. There you go. Third time is the charm. All right, more mono blue action. I'm very glad we went with 4-4 four, four for Spellbreaker so they can match up with Tempest Gen. Next turn, we got Krasis for four. Yeah, I do like, I do like pizza. I do like pizza quite a bit. Hey, All-Star, good morning. Ooh. I don't think Kiora would resolve. Like, I don't think anything is going to resolve this turn, but Krasis is really good, because even though Krasis doesn't resolve, it draws, Krasis draws two cards. You know what, like, I always kind of thought the Little Caesars wasn't that great. But I remember, like, there's a Little Caesars kind of close to my house. I remember getting a Little Caesars pizza. I mean, this was months ago. I don't remember exactly when, but it was months ago. Probably, probably about a year ago. And I remember thinking, man, that was a good pizza. Like, surprisingly good. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be so good. But better. So you know what? Little Caesar is maybe a little better than expected. So ever since then, I've I've always been like, you know what, Little Caesar isn't so bad. It's pretty good. And I haven't gone back though. But maybe I need maybe I need to. All right, so definitely kind of. Definitely kind of worried about dying. So like Kiora, bio, like playing Kiora than Bio Essence Hydra would be like our best aggressive play here. But we're at ten, and they all they'd have to do is play land, and we'd be dead. So going with the Crasis instead. Hmm. Their stuffed crust is great. Okay. Well. I think the only way I win is they don't have trickster or anything. You know, like they they only have counter magic. Hooray! I've always liked do Domino's. That's my usual pizza place if I order pizza, get their, their seven seven ninety nine large three topping carryouts or the five ninety nine two two toppings. Get those. I've actually haven't really liked Papa John's. Um, 
the mono the mono black aggro deck. Um, you could play. Yeah, you don't want to craft Ruin Raider and Dreadshade. You could do Spawn of Mayhem for one of them. Like Spawn of Mayhem is something you could do. All right, Mono Blue. Let me let me sideboard here. I want more coils. Want negates. And fail of Summers. Want this thing. I don't know. You're not even really that bad. Reclamation Sage either. So I think I'm supposed to cut. Cut a lot of the Planeswalkers. A lot of the slower Planeswalkers. Oh, you're actually good. Five. Yeah, maybe Embodiment of Agonies. Probably not, though. There's probably something better than that. I don't know exactly what. But I'm not expecting Embodiment to be very big in your deck. All these cards are kind of important. Oh, I, I love Indian food. Yeah, Indian food is delicious. Big fan of Indian food. All right, Spanky, have fun at F and M. Splash. Wait a turn, Krasis can draw two, draws an extra card. I'm not under like the most pressure. I think I can wait a turn. And three three Krasis doesn't match up at all against like Tempest Gen if they play that. need to find some more stuff. Even though I can trade with Jin, we don't have trades for anything else. Just sit back and draw cards with Spectral Sailor. It's bad. <laughs> Kinda 
kind of think that's good for me. No, we'll, we'll cycle the Veil of Summer. Yeah, because we, we just have to take too much damage. Hey, Fred, glad you like the Throwback Thursday decks. Haunt of Hightower? Okay. Cool. I do have the Rex Sage to blow that up. Still lets them draw a card and hit hit me for five. Cool, glad you're enjoying it. Oh, cool, you're playing the Demir Mill deck? Nice. Yeah, that's a that was a fun fun thing to do. And yeah, uh, next Thursday, you know, we're plan I'm planning already planning on Admiral Beckett Brass, Muldratha, and Arcades for sure, and probably like one of the other three three color legends. I'm not sure which one. Wow, what a draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, this Hydroid Crisis card. It may it may go somewhere. It may be going somewhere. It's a pretty good one. Oh, that Spectral Sailor is so good. Why I blocked Spectral Sailor earlier. Really all that Curious Obsession is, is just a land drop. We need more removal. You need to kill a Spectral Sailor. So this is my last crisis. 
If we play it, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Grace is for 11. If I wait till next turn, it'll be 15. So we'll draw an extra two cards if I wait a turn. I think we can wait a turn. So I probably want to do 12. To hold up negate. I guess could have done 13. Okay, so. Lava, I mean, Lava Coil would just get Storm Tamered. So I think it's it's probably better to Chandra first, minus, clear out like Storm Tamer and everything else, and then Lava Coil. And so, yeah, instead we'll have Negate up. Yeah, Chandra just kills him. Burning up here. I mean, they could have dive down, I suppose. We got Nagati though. All right, so all we have to do is draw all four Hydro Crises. Oh, wait, we already got game one, so never mind. This is just game two. Never mind, this game's just over. This makes some more room to fight in. Team or Hydra? Yeah, we faced two mono blue decks so far. <laughs> that is true. We did we did have like ten more damage also from Domery adding a power. Yeah, we could haste haste spellbreaker. Also. Yeah, we had a lot of damage there. We were all good on the damage front. So if we keep this hand, we got nothing going on basically. Well, that's Mulligan. Alright, I'll take this. We'll get rid of the Phoenix since we just got single red. I guess Kiora gives us double red. So I could get rid of Coil. It's, e it's either Coil or Phoenix. I want I want these. This is Bioessence Hydra is cool. We'll get rid of Coil. You know, it's like a 50-50 chance whether Coil is going to be good or not in the matchup. You know, whether they're playing creatures or not. I'm sure that math's not exactly 50-50. Just kind of made that up on, on the spot off the top of my head. But it's probably right. <laughs> Squirrels are hiding in the trees. And the new name for Chandra is Chandra Nail in the Coffin. Wow. Who would even do that to just a little Llanowar Elf? All 
All right, looks like Coil would have been decent. But we also just don't have any mana. Looks like I should have kept five lands and Paradise Druid and Coil. <laughs> yeah, either it's good or it's not, so it's 50-50. Easy math. That is true, it is elves, so that shock just killed a whole tribe. It's not one elf. So normally I'd want to play Kiora before Phoenix, but I think it's probably best for us just to get Phoenix down right now. We're facing a lot of damage over there. Glad to see no coil. Ooh, you must be mad to tussle with me. Ravnica deserves its demise. Never stand under a tree during a lightning storm. That's why the, the elf got shocked, huh? <laughs> there's there's three out. There's one back there, one right there, one right here. There's three of them. Oh, you can't see the one back there because of, of the words, but there's there's three of them. Elves. Wild beasts are bringing your comeuppance. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Yeah, they're they're kind of playing regular. They're playing like regular old gruel. What? You expect me to tuck my tail between my legs? My pets are hungry, and you look like I love to make a splash. All right, Phoenix works so well with Kiora. Good defense. What know you of dragons? <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent! Nature flows with vigor. All right, the Hydra's in here. It's a 9 9, which is good news, bad news. They got a lot of power in the air here. It's a 9 9. It can be, you know, another 6 next turn. It can be 15 if we play Nissa next turn. I mean, Plessing, Plessing Sarkin is the only thing they can do. It doesn't mean that they're going to attack with Sarkin, necessarily. Yeah, Grixis, we lost to uh, draw a card, trigger Kiora. We lost to Teamer Elementals, Naya, Feather, because that Season of Growth card on turn two, games two and three. And we went 1 1 against Scapeshift. Witness the ties that bind us all. Harness the elements. 20, that's 22. They're at 20. 15 15s are pretty big. <laughs> Dude, this card is nuts. Such an underrated card. So underrated. 
All right, more coils. Yeah, like, yeah, who, who plays Galt anymore? They haven't. Galt is too small. So I kind of want more coils, but that's about it. What if we take out... I mean, I kind of want to keep all this stuff. Like, yeah, Chandra seems good. Maybe maybe not Nyssa? Does Nyssa just get outclassed? Nyssa's, like, really good if, you know, the battlefield is, like, basically empty like it was there. But if we're behind, Nyssa's not going to really help us stabilize against their threats that they have. So maybe I cut the Nissas, play this extra Chandra, and cut an Incubation Druid. Get more red cards in here. I'm. This is a deck I made myself. The Nissa mana does help with Krasis. That's a good good point there. All right, turn one land or elf for both players. So we're both starting off strong. <laughs> Take me down to Paradise Druid. Where the mana is green. And the rhymes are fluid. I just have three other cards. Splash. No, I don't want I don't want to get that splash back. Ah, the splash back. Got us. Ooh, drew the land. Drew the land. That's clutch. I mean obviously Spellbreaker uses my mana the best here. But if we play Paradise, we definitely get to Arc Bow the next turn. Let's go Spellbreaker. See if we can draw another land and be able to double spell with Paradise or Arcbo. Jeez. That thing's big. Yeah, I wish there was card styles. You know, I wish you could, you know, even if you'd pay for card styles with the Unhinged Forest, that'd be awesome. Ow. Um, okay, okay. Hmm. 
It's like if I if I play Rekindling Phoenix, they just use their Hellkite to kill my Phoenix and my Llanowar Elf. Or no, actually in my Paradise Druid. It's not a good trade for us. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. We're fit enough to survive. Well, this turns our Spellbreaker into a real threat where they are also attacking my Vivian here. So Vivian gains me five life also. So, you know, just helps the damage race. I mean, they could attack me for nine and, you know, do damage to me twice. You know, do two damage to me with the Hellkite. But then Vivian, but Vivian would be able to kill their Hellkite. And we would be looking pretty good at that point. It looks like we're going to be a little too slow here with just the three mana. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I wish I had another red source kitty. I wish I could go Phoenix Coil. Is it possible at all I kill them next turn? Slightly, slightly possible. Yeah, I'm gonna go Coil Druid. Splash. If we draw Vivian or Domri, we get to kill the Hellkite. Um, don't know exactly how we're dealing with all these 4-4 four, four Growth Chamber Guardians yet. That is the scared attack right there. We should just jump attack out with everything. Attacking out with everything, I have to trade Land War for Paradise and I have to chump block the Growth Chamber Guardian because they have the Hellkite activation that can do two damage. So they would trade their Land War for both of my Paradise Druids. They would have attacked out. Alright, so this is nine trample. Four blocks there, four blocks there. That's only two, four, five. Darn. Two damage short. Just playing Phoenix and sitting back on defense doesn't win. My opponent really shouldn't have activated that Growth Chamber Guardian either. Like, they could have had the, the, the three mana plus the Llanowar Elf ping me and then untap ping me kind of thing. I think they could have prioritized this Hellkite ping a little better. But, you know, maybe my opponent messes up blocks. And we killed them somehow. Okay, they didn't. Hey, what's up, Sothian? Thanks for that resub. Resub number 28 on the day. That was a good game. Good game. 
Got them down to two on the draw there. But didn't have enough mana. So like Daredevil's pretty nice because like if we're coil, you know, like they're coiling also, it, it's another coil. I think we just try this out some more. Let's run it back. I want to see not very many Hellkites. I don't like that card. Two manas is not enough mana. Still not enough mana. They're both tap lands. Uh, I don't really want to go to. F uh, I don't really want to go to five though. All right, come on, draw an untap land. Basic shock. A basic shock. Any shock. Where's our lands, Kiora? You think Domri is better at racing than Vivian is? Yay! No, a deck that doesn't have... So... No, the D, the regular decks are just... Like, this is just a regular deck that, that I made that I wanted to play that we're playing in a league here. Let's see some panic in the streets. We won't answer to other kids. Yeah. So this is like the default. When there's an R next to the deck, then then I'm just playing the deck in ranked. I just have a deck that I wanted to play that wanted to play in ranked. I mean, that's all, all the ranked decks are the same. They're just decks that I made that I want to play in ranked. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be coiling this land war off here, honestly. I'm pretty happy how that played out. No damage on my Kiora. I want this Bio Essence Hydra to be as big as possible. Well then. That changes things a little bit, I guess. What a glorious day for Samantha. Let's get moving. A little power can go a long way. Splash. Yes, yeah, true. I could have that that previous turn could have dealt two damage to Domri and removed one counter to untap the Druid. So I could have traded one Kiora counter for two Domri counters. I'm not sure if that's a trade I want to make though with Bioessence Hydra. If I want to trade any counters, like Hydra is a 17-17 this next turn. No, 16. We have to untap. We have to, we have to use Kiora. So 16. 
And then if they attack, then it, now it's going to be 14. If they attack a Planeswalker. Alright, so it's 14. Still pretty strong. Like, they're at 18. I don't think they can kill a 14-14. One drop ripples and grows. <laughs> a little pick me up before the real fun begins. I don't know, they say good game, so I'll say good game back. <clears throat> Ilf. This card is so great. 14-14, Haste Trample. <laughs> uh, next turn. So next turn I play the Vivian. It gains four counters just from playing the Vivian, right? Because Vivian has four loyalty, so that turns it to 18. I tick up Vivian, which makes it 19. I add two counters to it, make, which makes it 21. And then uh, if if these survive at all, you know I can add another with Domri. I don't, I, you know if they if these survive at all. <laughs> I guess I I would need another green man if those don't survive though. Yeah, gains gains counters for planeswalkers coming into play. Yep, that's that second part. Whenever loyalty counters are put on planeswalkers, you control. So yeah, putting the playing the planeswalker is putting on loyalty counters, so it just gains counters. <laughs> Card's so underrated. Hey, it. Glad you're catching the stream here. Happy to have you here. Uh, so we're going to make it a 22-22 trample if our opponent let us. Going to make it a 22-22. Well, with Kiora, well, the Hydra still draws a card with Kiora, even against Esper. And there's definitely been times like where... They have, you know, like, they think, like, they, they thought they stabilized and have Hero and, like, a bunch of tokens and stuff. And they thought they stabilized. And I top deck Bio Essence Hydra and or top deck Domri, like, one of the two. And just play, like, you know, late in the game and be able to, like, play Domri, tick up, add mana, play Hydra, Haste. And, you know, with just, with just the Domri there, it's an 11-11 trample Haste and, like, swing in for lethal after they thought they stabilized in the late game. I've done that before. Play first. Keep hand. Green Kit Kat. Yeah, just two more subs for our next sub goal. That'll be sub goal number 12 towards 12 out of 20 towards our next 12 hour stream. Yeah, creatures die to removal. But when you're that big, the Bioessence Hydra is. It will win games, for sure. Yeah, so pack op pack openings aren't going to be too good for me right now because I have a like uh, earlier in the week or like about a week ago or so. I don't know something like that. Uh, we open packs where I have I have all the rares now, so like opening packs is just usually gem. I just get twenty gems, so it's just not a. It's 
so now we're in the I look forward to seeing you running away. Now we're in the just hold on till next set kind of oh, thing. Gonna hurt when this is through. So yeah, usually we would be opening packs for the sub goals. Also. Alright, so Domri is gonna be over here, gonna add some mana. I'll make these creatures larger. Um. <laughs> A little pick me up before the real fun begins. We're giving him haste. We're racing. They just got two mana. I could minus Domri and look for Bio Essence Hydra, but I'm already doing okay here. Yeah, we could have a 5-5 five, five Spellbreaker or it could just be 4-4 four, four Haste. You know, 4-4 four, four Haste puts him on, you know, kind of dead the next turn. Pretty dead. You should really quit before you get your teeth kicked in. Yeah, we'll do 4-4 four, four Haste. And then just play regular Paradise Druid. Grixis control went okay. Um, you know, like, I think the deck's better than, than that record shows. I think the deck's pretty good. But, you know, we had some matches not go our way. I don't think they have Chain Whirler. I, I really don't think the Cavalcade of Calamity deck plays Chain Whirler. All right, I need to just kill the Scorch Spitter here. I need to just block. Is that thing, you know, it says one one, but it's actually a three one. It does, it does an extra damage whenever it attacks. Come on, are you kidding? Can I choose my blockers? Thank you. And then of course Cavalcade, doing a damage there too. That's a good one. <laughs> My muscles may be small, I was all ready to play the arc, but like Vivian and just have Vivian kill Chandra. But, you know, just do a crisis. Honestly, I'm not sure of like the amount to spend each set to build a decent collection. It, it varies. the The best way, if you're you know just trying to to build your collection from the sets, the best way is to be playing limited. It's it's better value than just spending money and cracking packs. But if you're somebody that just wants to keep playing constructed, then you know that you know limited is time consuming. Of course, limited is drafting and playing sealed. That is time consuming and everything, and it's it's kind of difficult. You know, it can be difficult. Um, it makes you, I think the limited is, is a very good way to, I think it's the best way, honestly, to become a better magic player. It's, it's very, very good at that of just, you know, becoming a, a generically better magic player, not like 
not mastering a deck in a in a format kind of better magic player but just a generically better magic player yeah you keep the cards that you open in a draft Um, I, yeah, but like they, they are, it is kind of expensive, you know, like you need to, you normally need to be spending gems, you know, you can do gold for, you can do the gold drafts, but then sealed is gems. I do think that the sealed is very good value though. If you're just trying to get cards from a set, doing sealed with a set, I think is, is better than opening packs. It's, it's basically the same value if you win zero or, you know, if you go zero and three, with sealed, it's like the same value as just opening the pack. So like all any wins you get is bonus. It you get one less wild card. You get like you get the same number of rares and everything uh, for your money, uh, but you get one less wild card. So if that's for going zero and three, you know if you're if you're doing pretty decent with it, it it can be a really good source of. rares for you. So normally I'd play the land of off here, but obviously I don't want to into the lava coil. Yeah, it eats a lot of gems. It's it's similar to I mean, but you also can win a lot of gems, but it's it's kind of similar to just to just buying Anyone the packs, but it's that? you get a lot more out of your gems. You as far as building a, a just general collection. And so, yeah, if, if you're going like three and three, you know, in the seals, you're you're definitely coming ahead. And if you if you ever get like your good sealed leagues where you get you know go five and three, six and three, you start you start really paying for it. Like, I brought company. Cause I th I think it's I think is it six and three that you actually just your league is free when you go six and three, and so you just get all the the prizes with no you know you win back your entry for you at six and three, I believe. Hmm. Well, the Spitfire is going to be hard to beat. I think my opponent's got me with this one. If they have absolutely nothing, though... We could win this. Splash. Yeah, not, it's not like, you know, all. All matches are different and everything, um, so it's not just like always the case. But I think generally, the constructed event is easier than than Diamond Mythic. Generally, but it's not always the case. That just kills us. These cards here. With the Spitfire, I don't have removal left. So 
So if they're playing a whole bunch of coils, shocks, stuff like that, Daredevil value certainly increases. So I'm going to bring in a Daredevil over the Nyssa. Chandra just minus the previous turn to recast the light at the stage. not a mulligan, but, you know, like, three mana Chandra again from our opponent can definitely run us over. Feels so bad using the Lava Coil on, on something like that. I'm not going to use the... I'm not going to use both. Like, I'm going to save one Lava Coil for a Spitfire. But that could just save us a good amount of life if they had, um, you know, something crappy the next turn. Or what? No, that's not what I want to say. If they had the enchantment the next turn. Sorry. They just played another little crappy creature. But yeah, it feels bad using these on crappy creatures, but it's like I'm not doing anything else. Hmm. So I, I'm kind of thinking that they have Lava Coil for Phoenix. And so instead of me playing the Phoenix, withdrawing this Paradise Druid here, I'm going to play that so that if, if we draw land here, we can just go Awakened Inferno, which Awakened Inferno should do a whole lot of good stuff for us. Should. Since they did nothing but just dodge or attack pass, I think we can take the turn off to play the Paradise Druid. Not get there with the land. I do not want my Paradise Druid to get removal spelled. Well, this is better for us than Lava Coil. A whole bunch of shocks. Oh, it's three cards. Job Phoenix, way to trade, trade for three cards. So Phoenix traded with three cards, Daredevil trades with two. They still have more cards than us because they only have two lands over there, but... I 
defy gods, defying you will be easy. Doesn't look like they're very happy about just only having two lands. The ocean surges, life thrives. So I'll go ahead and go Krasis here. Because Krasis draws us three cards. Should. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe not. This say should help us hit another land drop for the Chandra. Hey, thanks, Samantha. X White and Omdi getting a couple gifted subs from Santa. Samantha. And that gets us to around 30. That's another sub goal. Need to mark that down. drawn three more cards than our opponent. We only have one more land. Oh, they were complaining about the lands earlier. And I'm sure we're playing more lands in our deck than our opponent is. Telling me what to do. Glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. Nature flows. Glad I could help with your not being on fire problem. Oh, 230. <laughs> so that is a pretty good sub goal. 230 there. Very good sub goal. And Teamer Hydra is four and O. Oh. All right, and updating this, updating the info panel here. So now we're at, we have currently hit 12 sub goals since our last 12 hour stream. So eight more and I'm doing another 12 hour stream. That could be coming up here. Okay, four and O. Oh. As you all know, this means we're on the final boss. We got into four wins, 1,700 gold. We, we're going to try to get to 2,100 gold. So see, this is what 1,700 gold looks like. This is what 2,100 gold looks like. That's an extra, you know, 25%, less than 25% more gold <laughs> is all of that. <laughs> it looks drastically different. All right, final boss emote time. Like it, let's get our final boss playlist. Yeah, an extra 20 gems. <laughs> I was, yep, Aussie, I was, yeah. Yep, yeah, this is the Final Fantasy Seven boss theme. Yeah, this is 5 0 Friday. That's right. That's right. You coined it 5 0 Friday earlier. We're trying to get Team or Hydra to kick off 5 0 Friday for us. And we're playing against Vampires for the 5 0. Vampires is really good. I will not be surprised if we lose this, but we got a pretty good looking hand. It's not perfect or anything, but it's pretty good.
Wouldn't mind having another red source to be able to play Phoenix this next turn. Wouldn't mind that at all. You had a maintenance plan for over a month, but then wait until 6 p.m. the Friday before to ask to run some cables. Yeah, that is not... It's not a lot of people's st strong suits being considerate. Alright, red, red land? I'll take Lava Coil also. Red land or Lava Coil? Okay, red land. So if they attack with both, who am I blocking? I think Knight of the Ebon Legion. That taps him out. And I only take three. So Knight doesn't grow. Where if I would have blocked a Danto Vanguard, they pay four life. They don't tap the three. So they get to play something else. Their knight's going to grow. Wow. That's a... Yeah, that's a bold attack right there. Just wanting to pay for life. <clears throat> okay, so Chandra... Do Chandra minus three on the Knight of the Ebon Legion? I could do Chandra minus four on the Champion of Dusk? Let's see. One, two, three, four... Five, six. Chandra Emblem. Is it just Krasis for five? Maybe just Krasis for five. No, it's Chandra. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. Burning desire to finish you. Rise, my elemental friend. I guess if I would have killed the champion, I would get to attack with those other cards. I guess that's the reason to kill the champion, as I get to attack with those. Hey, no need to try. Thanks so much there. Getting us towards our fourth sub goal already today. So we're bringing in coils. We had a good strong hand there, but this is a matchup that can certainly be tough. So 
I think Coil and Veil of Summer are both good because all their removal is black. So Veil of Summer is like counter their removal spell plus draw a card. Definitely worth it. But what are the five cards we want to take out? So like Bioessence Hydra can get huge here, which is good. But like Chandra Nissa, I don't know. They looked kind of good there. Arcbow Ranger. I don't know. I just I just don't know what the five cards I want to take out here, honestly. I think we're supposed to try to get bigger with Hydra. Is it Arcbow Ranger? This thing actually kills Soren. If we take out Chandra and Vivian, an Incubation Druid. We don't have very many Planeswalkers for Bioessence Hydra now. Yeah, yeah, no need to try. I can, I can do that. Well, this is not beating their best hands. But we're gonna hope they don't have their best hands. Do you like the no one drop? Good sign. Vanguard's not so scary for us. We just go bigger than it. Really, I don't want to see Soren. That's. They didn't have Soren last game, and we won, and I was very happy. Can we? Can we just not have Soren some more? Let's have less Soren. Play another Danto Vanguard. It's fine. Or something else. I drink only Not that card. Finest, and you smell well aged. Not that card. The blood calls to your soul. All right, with them, with them doing the whole tick up thing, that is good for me. We actually get to kill the Soren. They didn't, you know, like put in a champion of dusk or anything like that. This is gonna work out. You lost what little trust I had. Okay, so Spellbreaker down. I will protect the virtue of this world. Be wary of the ground. We are kind of losing a lot of life. Thanks, Storm. We're trying. We're trying to get that 5 0.
Nissa having that six loyalty is just so much loyalty. Can I play Kiora first and not play Krasis this turn and just like play Krasis next turn? I kind of feel like I can. So right now, Krasis could be like two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I like shock and everything. I hope you don't mind if I take my octopus for a walk. Behold, nature's true power. I guess I really could have just done both. Let's get moving. But next turn we could make a very, very large crisis and also draw an extra card with Kiora. So we'll have like 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 mana next turn. Well, I guess I guess we have to block this thing, so it won't be that much. It'd be twelve. Killing that Soren is really big for us. That spellbreaker really came through clutch. Ooh, not paying the four life. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So ten. All right, six new cards. Bunch of large creatures out there. Is that good enough for the five O? There we are. Got there. 5-0 Friday. Ooh, 60 gems. We'll take all those gems. Final boss defeated. First life. Didn't even need the extra life. There. So Teamer Hydra, pretty sweet. <laughs> Teener, Teamer Hydra. Um, pretty cool deck here. I mean, this was just a fun one. I, I do think that, like, overall, this deck's going to be underdogs against, prob like, probably against uh, Vampires and Scape Shift. Definitely Scape Shift. But I don't know. We got all those Blood Suns in the sideboard, though. I don't know. Maybe not. And we just saw just saw us uh, beat up on vampires there. The vampire hands weren't spectacular. I don't know. Their their game one hand was pretty good. Just it was missing Soren. In game two, we we killed Soren. But then after we killed Soren, they didn't have a whole lot there that game two. Uh, so we got to take over with Nyssa. Um, but yeah, as we saw a lot of those games, we had really big bio essence hydras that were just killing our opponent. You know, like 15, 15, 17, 17. You know, we had a 22-22. And whenever you have that thing haste and that big, it just, just kills people, you know? <laughs> that's that's kind of what it does. So the bio essence of life there. So this is a fun deck to play. You know, you want to play something a little different, want to play some, some planeswalkers and creatures and everything. Give this one a try. This is a fun deck. So that's Teamer. This is Teamer Hydra. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it also. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching Teamer Hydra, and I'll see you for the next video.